What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a look at some Stadia news. If you're not already aware, pretty much every Tuesday Stadia tries to drop uh, on their blog some news information, uh, new games, pro games, DLCs, sales, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to go over that. We've got, it's the end of the month, so we're going to see our four pro games that are announced for Stadia. So we're going to go through that. Uh, we'll go through that whole blog and take a look at what they've got going on. And then we've got a OnePlus announcement here for those in the EU looking to purchase a device. So let's jump into that first. OnePlus Plus offers a free Stadia Premier Edition with new device purchases in the EU. Uh, as an added gift, OnePlus is now giving away a free Stadia Premier Edition controller and Chromecast Ultra with all purchases of the 8T, the Nord, and OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro in select European regions. So I just wanted to make note of that. If you happen to be uh, per looking for a new device anyway, or a OneNote uh, device anyway, it's not a bad grab, even if you already play Stadia. Having an extra Chromecast Ultra can't hurt uh, in case you want to hook up somewhere else or one breaks. And of course, another controller never hurts as well. And those things can be a bit pricey on their own. So that's pretty much it for the OnePlus um, offer there with Stadia. I thought it was pretty cool. Now let's jump over to the blog post. We've got our four pro games. So Kronos, Before the Ashes, MotoGP 20, Trails of Cold Steel 3, and Blue Fire. Pretty decent for a grab of pro games that are going to get added to your library. You'll be able to claim these as of June 1st. Kronos is one that I didn't want to purchase. I figured it might go pro eventually. So uh, it, it is going pro and I'll definitely uh, give that game a look. MotoGP 20 I've played. Now the thing is with that particular game is I'm playing MotoGP 21 on PC. I have been since April and I really wanted to see GP 21 come to Stadia, but it does not appear that's the case. It doesn't look like it's coming at all. Um, We'll see if that changes in the future, but having MotoGP 20 as a free pro game right now would have been a great way to help sell GP 21 on Stadia because you could have tried this one and then you could have went and bought that one. But anyways, that's not the case this time uh, for that game. And I'm also looking like uh, F1 2021 might not be making its way. So uh, it's kind of sad to see them skip a year and not get the yearly releases, but we'll see how that pans out for us in the future. Uh, what else we got in the blog post? We've got Ghost Recon Breakpoint Free Play Days. So May 27th to May 31st, you can jump in, give Ghost Recon Breakpoint a try if you haven't already. When I first played this game on Stadia, it was when it launched and the performance was pretty rough. But I've played it since and I've made a comparison video on the channel and it's much, much better. Uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint is a game that definitely runs really, really well on Stadia, as does Division 2 and Destiny 2 and quite a few others. And speaking of Destiny 2, we've actually got an official crossplay beta playlist. If you remember right, that beta went kind of live and people were jumping on it a couple of weeks ago. Well, from May 25th through May 27th, there's a distinct Vanguard Strikes crossplay beta playlist, that's a mouthful, that's available to all players in Destiny 2. So uh, you'll be match made with Guardians playing across multiple platforms. And that's something you can check out for the next couple days. That game needs crossplay. I'm really glad to see it coming they've also got the dlc for um power rangers here street fighter pack uh grow in and check that out phoenix point gets bigger with its dlc festering skies 10 bucks in the store there and then they've also got as usual they've got a sale going on uh we'll jump over here so now this is a complaint i have with a lot of companies microsoft playstation stadia pretty much all stores where you own a game or have it in your library already you can't see the sale price anymore. And while I get it for consumers, I'd still like to see it. And as a content creator who makes these things, I really want to still see the sale prices here. So please, somebody, start putting the sale prices up here. Um, but anyway, you've got, uh, I'm going to scroll through these kind of quickly. I don't want to go through. I feel like the sales get a little stale. While the library is growing, there's a lot of repetitiveness, repetitiveness. And I feel like a lot of people on Stadia have kind of already gotten either through subscription or through sales what they wanted. Um, but it's still great to see them do really good sales. I can't complain about the price cuts Stadia does, but as the content grows, it'll get better. But for me, these sales still tend to feel a little bit stale sometimes. But we've got Borderlands and Assassin's Creed, we got the Doom games in here, I believe. Um, Outriders is also on sale. FIFA 21's on sale. Uh, we've got some Just Dance. So there you go, 2021. See, we've got 2020 and 2021. That's what I want to see right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, Madden's on sale. Avengers has a steep cut. And there's Outriders, like I mentioned, it's 45. So, you know, go check out the sale. See if there's anything in here that you missed or that you've been waiting for. I'll go ahead and scroll the rest of the way down here. Um, 
but yeah, it is what it is on the sales. They do do decent price cuts. It's just the matter of the content, I suppose. So, all right, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this week. We've got our four pro games. We've got that one note uh, free Stadia premiere edition going on for you guys over in the EU and a quick look scroll through of all the titles here that are on sale. So thanks a lot for coming to watch. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, leave your comment. All that kind of stuff helps the channel. And you guys know I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks again. And I'll see you in the next one.